we're going to explain how to run a hub motor without a controller. This is inherently dangerous and should only be attempted by individuals with a strong understanding of electricity and motors. Improperly attempting this can lead to serious injury or damage to the motor. Proceed at your own risk. 1. Understand the basics. Hub motors are typically brushless DC motors. They require precise control of voltage and current to operate safely and efficiently. A controller manages this by switching the power to the motor windings at the right time and in the right sequence. Without a controller, you need to manually provide this. 2. Direct power connection, extremely dangerous. This is the simplest, but riskiest method. You'd need to connect the motor wires directly to a power source, like a battery. The problem is that you'll have no control over the speed or direction. The motor will likely spin at its maximum speed, potentially causing damage or injury. You need to know exactly which wires are positive and negative, as reversing them can damage the motor instantly. The sudden high current draw could also cause the battery to overheat or even explode. 3. Using a variable DC power supply. A variable DC power supply offers a safer approach. These supplies allow you to adjust the voltage gradually, providing some control over the motor speed. However, you still need to understand the motor's voltage and current requirements to avoid damaging it. Exceeding the voltage rating will likely destroy the motor. Exceeding the current rating can also cause overheating and damage. Even with a variable power supply, the lack of sophisticated control means the motor might be unstable or inefficient. 4. PWM, Pulse Width Modulation. For better speed control, consider using a PWM signal generator. A PWM signal effectively switches the power on and off very rapidly, controlling the average power delivered to the motor. You'll need some electronics knowledge to build or source a suitable PWM circuit. This method still lacks the protection and safety features of a proper controller. Remember that without a controller, you're missing important safety features like current limiting, over temperature protection, and over voltage protection. The motor could overheat, draw excessive current, or even become damaged if the power isn't managed correctly. Five, important disclaimer. Again, running a hub motor without a controller is inherently risky. This explanation is for educational purposes only. Do not attempt this unless you possess the necessary expertise and understand the associated risks. It's strongly recommended to always use a proper motor controller for safe and efficient operation.